a little bit late, but at least we're on our way, which is the most important thing. Today, I'm going to Fukui. Fukui is on the west side of Japan, closer to Nagoya and Kyoto than to Tokyo. It's not particularly famous, but my friend Koki has a plan to visit all 47 prefectures, and we couldn't leave Fukui out. But what is there to see there? I love traveling in Japan, but before I left I had to wonder, is there really enough to do for a three-day trip? Fukui is small enough that it doesn't have its own airport, so I flew to Komatsu in Ishikawa-ken and drove from there. It's a short one-hour flight from Haneda, and the views from the aircraft were amazing. It was like looking at a map from the sky. Here you can see Tokyo and Yokohama, and in the background you can see Chiba, Tokyo Bay, the Miura Peninsula, Shonan, and even the Izu Peninsula on the right. After arriving in Komatsu, I rented a car and drove to Ichijodani Asukura Shiiseki to meet Koki. Ichijodani Asukura Shiiseki is the ruins of a castle town that was burned down in 1573. Since it was, well, burned down, there wasn't a whole lot to see, but it was pretty peaceful and relaxing. Some modern additions include a reconstructed street, as well as a colorful installation for Instagram. As you can hear, there were a lot of cicadas. These Katamon-style gates, apparently reconstructed in the Edo era, were also pretty cool. On our way out, we found a ton of these very large kusagumo in the bushes, and we spent more than a little time attempting to get some interesting close-up shots. So the plan for today was to go ahead and see some temples, but we saw in the news last night that there are some dangerous wild dolphins at the beach, so we're going to check that out and see if we can find any. While we didn't get to see any dolphins, it was really cool to walk on the beach and wade in the surprisingly clear water. Rather than take the fastest route to Katsuyama, we decided to go a more southern route that passed through a dam construction site. So if there's a theme of rural Japan, it is kind of incredible construction projects. So we are here on a tiny little road, and on one side you can't really see it, but there is a tiny hydroelectric power plant. On the other side of this road we have the most giant road cut? I mean, look at those earth movers. They're like all the way up there on this cliff. So yeah, I think that's pretty incredible. We have reached our destination, and it is an even bigger construction project. A dam that is under construction. It is huge! It's hard to like describe the scale of this, but I mean, can you see those people down there? Yeah. From there, the road got narrower and narrower and narrower. Soon we found ourselves in a small parking lot, which turned out to be for this 60 meter tall waterfall, Ryusogataki, also right next to the road. Between the beach, the dam construction site, and the waterfall, day two was one highlight after another. To top it all off, on our way into Katsuyama, 
we stopped by another well-known Instagram spot, these incredible avalanche prevention walls. Altogether, it couldn't have been a more successful day of sightseeing. We started day 3 with another incredibly Instagrammable spot, the Echizen Daibutsu. It was built in 1987 by Kiyoshi Tada, founder of the Sogo Taxi Company, and was very, very cool. From there we checked out the Fukui Prefectural Dinosaur Museum. It was a pretty cool museum, but it was really more of a family attraction. With some time to spare in the afternoon, we decided to take the most direct route back to Komatsu Airport, which turned out to be another very narrow mountain road. Ultimately, getting to drive on these rural roads was the true highlight of the trip for me. While a highway cuts through and passes by, roads like this bring you in. We got to see the landscape up close, and it seemed to be one scenic spot after another. It was also very, very fun to drive. Back in Komatsu, an unexpected highlight was getting to see pairs of F-15s from the Japan Air Self-Defense Force taking off overhead. And with that, it was back to Tokyo. Fukui may not be the most famous travel destination in Japan, but it turned out to be far more interesting than I could have imagined. Thanks for watching! <laughs>